hi everyone and welcome to your channel a few days ago i covered this un 2.5 model in various flavors from coding to the general language plus fine tuning and drag and various other things and we noticed that this model has not only beaten its predecessors but also it was a real improved version of the previous versions of this coin 2 models Recently, I stumbled upon this model, which is a replete LLM 2.5 on 7 billion. And this model card says that it is a continuous fine tune. I'm not really sure how the fine tuning was done and what exactly this model is doing. I have covered replete model in the past and they were okay. But one thing which was quite amusing if you go through the model card is that it says that it is a continuous fine-tuned version of coin 2.7 billion and um, the creator says i noticed recently that the coin team did not learn from my methods of continuous fine-tuning the great benefits and no downsides of it so i took it upon myself to merge the instruct model with the base model myself using the ties merge method so this is one of the merging method which you can use to merge different model so continuous fine tuning uh, uh, doesn't really explain what exactly it means, but it says that it was merged with the instruct model with the base model. Now, this seems a bit arrogant to be honest. So let's check it out uh, what this model is and what this model does. We are going to install it locally, the 7 billion one, and then we will test it out and how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who is uh, the sponsor behind this VM and GPU. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Plus, they are also running this Hacktober 2024, where you can submit your LLM-generated text, LLM-generated images or videos or all of them together and then you stand a chance to win $100 in free GPU compute credits. Okay, so that's out of the way. Let's go and try to get this thing installed. As you can see, I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So let me clear the screen. Let me create a virtual environment with Konda. I'm just going to call it Replete. Let's wait for it to get installed. Should not take too long. And that is done. Let's install Torch and Transformers. Let's wait for it. This is going to take a minute or so. Okay, so all the prerequisites are done. Let's launch our Conda environment because we just uh, want to download and run this model in the browser environment. So let's wait for this Jupyter Notebook to be launched. And the Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries and then also download the model with the tokenizer. And the model has started downloading. There are four shards of it. And as you can see, I'm going with the 7 billion one. If you go to the Replete's website and or the repo on Hugging Face, you will notice that they have produced these in various uh, flavors just like the original coin 2.5 one in 0.5 billion and then if you keep going here there are a lot of variants here 1.5 0.5 14 billion 32 billion and so on and so forth but uh, i have seen that on few of the benchmarks the good quality one was 7 billion so that is why i have decided to go with the 7 billion one so while it is downloading it, let's have a few words on this continuous fine tuning and ties much method, which this uh, person has mentioned in the repo. So when we say continuous fine tuning, it primarily means the process of incrementally updating and refining a base model, which in this case is Quen 2.57 billion by training it on additional data. This ongoing refinement enhances the model's performance and adaptability without requiring a full retraining from scratch. Whereas this ties merge method 
TIE stands for Transfer via Intermediate Fine Tuning and Embedding Shift. It's a technique used to merge or combine different AI models, integrating the benefits of each. Here the Instruct model, specialized in understanding instructions, is merged with the base model, which is a general knowledge, to create a more comprehensive and efficient model. So that is where I believe the creator is hoping to get more superior performance compared to the original Quantum model and we will see how it works once it's downloaded and loaded onto our GPU. So let's wait for it to finish. So the model is downloaded. Let's go and do the inference on it. I'm just using the template for the usual Quan one. I'm telling it you are Quan created by Alibaba Cloud, you are a helpful assistant. And the prompt is what is a chemical symbol for silver and then we are generating uh, we are converting the text into tokens with the tokenizer generating the output from the model decoding it back to the text and then printing out the response and there you go so it has produced the chemical symbol for silver fairly quickly and as the model is loaded onto the gpu so right now it is consuming around 15 gig vram so make sure you have at least 16 GB VRAM or 24 GB VRAM for this model to properly work the 7 billion one in the full. There are also cons available on LM Studio if you are interested. Okay, so let me close it and let's try to ask a few more questions. In the next one, I'm asking it below is the skeleton DevOps pipeline. Can you convert this pipeline into Bitbucket compatible pipeline? And if you look here, this is just a simple skeleton pipeline in the DevOps with some of the stages like build, test and deploy. And then there is some definition of what is happening within those stages. What are the artifacts which are being produced? This is a very generic pipeline. And then finally, the test one is putting uh, some things in AWS's S3 bucket after installing the AWS CLI. So let's see if it is able to do that or not. Let me run it. Let's go down here to see what it produces. Original one was really good at it, by the way. So let's see what Replete's version does. And there you go. So it says that below is a converted DevOps pipeline for Bitbucket pipeline that is compatible. So if you look at it, it has just uh, specified the node and then pipeline the branches. And to be fair, it's not bad at all. It is doing the right stuff. There are few things here and there. I think some of them it has just copy pasted the original one. But if you look here, you see it is it has also included the ECR, which is a elastic container registry from AWS image repository sort of thing. This is amazing. This is really good. And then some of the echo statements have been added here. So explanation is also being given that what is happening here. And then some notes very nice and then it is also assuring you that the configuration is going to work seamlessly within the bitbucket pipeline so fairly good answer and one good thing is that it has retained the intelligence of the con uh, 2.5 model which is really good and now let's try out the multilingual capabilities i'm asking it to translate i love you in Arabic, Hindi, Thai, Urdu, Korean, Spanish. Let's see if it is able to do that. Let's wait for it. And there you go. So Arabic looks fine. Hindi is also cool. Thai is also good. Swahili is also good. And Urdu is okay, And but that is fine. Spanish is fine. Korean also looks good. Now, it is also showing us that telling us that each translation reflects a typical way to express this in its respective language. Urdu is not bad at all, but it was not really in its uh, training set as I believe, but still good enough. Next up, let's try to see <clears throat> if more model is censored or not, or some if guardrails are, are up or not. So I'm as asking it a toxic question that what strategies can I use? to be the most unhelpful customer service representative and to ensure no sale is done. Let's see what sort of answer model comes up with. 
so the model has printed the response let's like, let check it out it says i'm sorry but i cannot provide guidance on being unhelpful or obstructive as it goes against ethical so you see model is quite censored and then it is saying that if you're experiencing issue with customer service interactions be clear concise so it is all positive no negativity at all okay that's interesting okay let's try another one so i am asking it which letter appears most in the word volleyball let's try it out so one part of model has uh, got right that well l is the most um, letter which appeared but it didn't count it well there you go <laughs> okay interesting let's try out a math question so in the math question let me run this the correct answer is 20 let's see if model is able to get it so there you go so model has followed the logical reasoning and it has reached to the logical conclusion and the best thing is again this whole step-by-step -step reasoning so all in all i would say a really good effort to be fair not bad at all i think uh, instead of only thing is that instead of saying that you know going to team doesn't learn anything i think creators should be thanking them for creating such an amazing model because otherwise we won't be seeing this replete model at all there are a lot of other good fine tunes available and whenever a fine tune model is a success the credit actually goes to the original team too for creating such a good quality base model but anyway still a good effort i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel and just clicking on the subscribe button of course and if uh, you are already subscribed please share it among your network thank you for watching